Fishing the Flats with host Henry Wanschuk and Billy Clyde is brought to you in part by Andros Boatworks, built for those that demand quality. Live Target, lifelike lures. Mud Hole, your one-stop shop for rod building and tackle crafting needs. Oh Hero, conquering the fishing world. Welcome to another great episode of Fishing the Flats. I'm your host, Henry Waschuk. I'm telling you what, we got two great adventures this week. First off, internationally, we're going down to Central America to the beautiful country of Belize. Crystal clear waters, and I'm telling you, we're gonna be fishing for some hard fighting snapper. It's gonna be awesome. And then we're gonna look for some big fish. Yes, indeed, Goliath grouper. And that's gonna be in the St. Pete's area. I'll tell you, a great hotel we're gonna feature. And on top of that, we finish off with an awesome crab recipe. Stay tuned. Hey, it's gonna be great. Exploded what four now? For yeah, you? four or five. <laughs> it's like, I just can't get a hook in one. That's this cold front, I think. Yeah, they're oh. coming up and just looking at it. I think I had it. Okay, yep. all right. What do we got? Okay, fighting hard. Yeah, come on, get out of your way here. Yeah, no problem. Just hit that. Charlie's worm hair jig. I tell you, on light tackle though. Oh, yeah. Out here. <laughs> it's fighting oh, good. Yeah. What is it? It's pretty Bar long. Barracuda, maybe? It's hard is to it tell. Is it a snapper? Can't see. I haven't seen it. Just it's like, a mutton. Oh, it's, it's a, a mutton. mutton. Look at it. I can see the color. Now grab the net. There you go. Here he comes. Look at this fish. Wow. Look at <laughs> this beauty. No way! Yeah. <laughs> you called it! You called oh, it! Oh no! I'm over here throwing a top water. Henry says, you know what? I'm pulling out the little white bucktail. Look at that. Look at that beautiful fish. That's a gorgeous fish. Yeah, I can't believe uh, we're still <laughs> catching them like this out here in 30 mile an hour winds, you know? Yeah. All right, let's get them in the box. All right, let's do it. Catch another one. Oh man, what do you have? It is big. Coming up, a monster fish surprise. This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Tires Plus, your total car care center. South of Mexico and east of Guatemala lies the only English speaking country in all of Central America. Belize is an incredible country to visit, and the fishing opportunities are grand. We once again visit Turniff Island Resort, the gem of the second largest barrier reef in the world. The crystal clear waters offer a broad spectrum of fishing opportunities. With bonefish, permit, tarpon, and barracuda on the flats, and the reefs with its own broad mix of fish species, it just doesn't get any better than this. Look at all the yellowtail. <laughs> Get a yellowtail there, Billy. Look at, look at, right, I came right what off. What was that? A yellowtail. Was it a yellowtail? Oh my yeah. gosh. It came rough, but as soon as you pulled your line away. <laughs> you said, give it back. All right. No telling could what it, it is. Could be a jack, what does it look like? I think it looks like a jack, or a snapper maybe. Permit, right behind <laughs> the boat. This is insane. Is this a snapper? What do I got? I got a yellow tail, a big one too. I'm telling you, a big flag. Holy cow. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Look at the size of this yellow tail snapper. Holy oh. cow. Nice. Are you kidding me? Nice yellow tail, man oh man. Giant. And this is by far the biggest yellow tail I've ever <laughs> seen. And there's still so many fish underneath. Go. Look at this. This is going to be a crazy. treat 
That's dinner right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Call him in here. That is crazy big. Man, oh man. <laughs> Woo! Look at this. What a pleasant surprise, huh? Let me get this hooked yeah, up. Yeah, you'd have to go. <laughs> yeah, he hold him in the boat. Eat him in the boat. Isn't <laughs> he that a said, that's dinner. That's beautiful. Look at that. Awesome. Hank's Tip of the Week is brought to you by Mud Hole, your one stop shop for rod building and tackle crafting needs. You know, I get a lot of emails asking questions about rod repair. Well, there's nobody better than Mud Hole. Let's see what the guys have for us this week. You have a fishing rod with the handles have seen better days? Well, there's a solution. We can fix it using some shrink tubing. There's a couple things we'll need today to get started. First of all, we'll need the shrink tubing, a heat gun, a pair of scissors, a pencil, and the old rod we're gonna repair. First thing we do is to measure the length of the shrink tubing we're gonna need. Next, go ahead and cut your shrink tubing to the correct length. Take your shrink tubing, open it up, slide it over top of your handle. Line it up with your existing handle. Now with your heat gun, go ahead and apply some heat. There's no glue required. The shrink tubing will shrink right over top of your existing handle. Shrink tubing is available in different sizes and colors. Once you've heated up the grip, you're ready to go fishing. This product, along with some other great products and videos, are available at mudhole.com, where you can also order a free catalog and get started in rod building and rod repair today. Don't let them do it to you. Oh, that's a big fish. What do you got? Okay. Keep them Let's out go. of them rocks. Oh man, what do you have? It is big. Oh no. Oh, golly, I'm trying to hold him back with the drag a bit, but oh, it's tough. <laughs> tough. <laughs> <clears throat> oh man, oh man. Come on, fish. Get out of there. Oh, look, he's still watching. That's a right. big fish, man. You have got oh, a big wow. fish. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. It's big. <laughs> on light tackle, my travel rod, please. What do you got? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, I have no idea. <laughs> oh. hey. He's big? He's, he's big? <laughs> yeah, he's big. What the heck did you hook into? I'll tell you, whatever he's doing, he's dogging it. You know better than I'm anybody. telling you, people. This is a big boy. Man. Oh my gosh. I told you. I told you. I've seen him I out there. I know it's big. You don't have to tell me. I'm, <laughs> Look at you. You're working I'm, up a sweat. I'm loving this, I'm telling man. telling you what. I am loving this. Keep him off that bottom. Has Where? he got you in the bottom? Oh no. Oh no. You think you can go down 20 yeah, feet? Yeah, I can go down 20 feet. Woo, here we go, Ed. Okay. Come on. Okay. There's nothing like a surprise catch in fishing, especially a big fish. Well, after a 12-minute fight on light tackle, 20-pound O'Hero braid, and a 20-pound leader, this 60-pound-plus African pompano won the battle against Big Hank. These are beautiful fish, and giant pompano like these photos show only come once in a lifetime. Amazing fish. Another big one. Wow. Coming up, the Birds of Paradise Resort. This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Empower Technologies. Throw away your jumper cables forever. Our second stop in this week's adventure takes us to the inshore and offshore waters of St. Pete's in southwest Florida. This is one of the most productive fishing areas in all of Florida. The Sunshine Skyway Bridge is a haven for anglers and fish alike. The bait is plentiful, and that's why there's such a variety of game fish here. From snook to shark, tarpon to goliath grouper and more, they're here almost all year round. Let's tackle these hard fighting giants. You got the 
bait. All right. You got the Jaws theme music ready or what? Well, the good news is you get the first fish. <laughs> <laughs> is that good news or bad news? I don't know. <laughs> you can get anything from 100 to 600 here. And some really big sharks too. So we'll see what what's the flavor of the day here. Easy does oh, no. it. Billy, Billy. Oh, Is it game I saw, time? Saw a bump up. Is he there? Yeah, he just spit it out. There he is. He ate it again. Oh, crap. All right. Yep. We got a Goliath. Oh. Oh, oh, oh uh -oh. yeah, baby. Uh-oh. You tell me if you... Come on back. Come on back, bud. Come on. <laughs> you can imagine how yeah. many big fish are here. Man. Yeah. <laughs> It is tell you, there's a big, big, giant family, cousins, uncles, aunts, and all Goliath grouper. Come on, baby. He's trying to get me back to that piling. Ugh. And it's working. Ah. Good job, ah. good job. Ah. 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 Come on, baby. There he is. Oh, oh my goodness. Almost slowly. There he is. Finished. Come on up. Oh Come on up. Oh my god. Woo! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Woo! What a baby. Look at this guy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh baby, look at Henry. this guy. <laughs> Woo! You know, that's why I let the young guy take those fish. I'm telling you what. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty old right now, now man. All right, Henry. Okay. All right, can you unhook him there? Thanks. Oh, if, he doesn't, oh. if he doesn't pull me in the boat or in the water. Wow, what a big fish. Look at the size, I'm telling you what. <laughs> there he goes. Okay. There he goes. See All you later. Right. Woo! Hopefully I hurt him as much <laughs> as he hurt me, man. Boy, that was a <laughs> tough fight, wasn't it? <laughs> This week's resort feature is brought to you by the top-selling Fish and Guy app. This week's resort feature in Southwest Florida is a private boutique resort and marina called the Birds of Paradise. Located on the barrier island of St. Petersburg, this rental property spans the length of a city block and directly fronts the deep and protected waters of Little McPherson Bayou with immediate boating access to the Gulf. This majestic landmark is graced by its premier waterfront, freeform pool, and richly landscaped grounds, and overlooks its own private marina. The Birds of Paradise Boutique Resort, formerly the estate of Anheuser-Busch International, has for over 50 years been nestled in the cradle of Paso Grill, one of Florida's most pristine beach communities. The estate sits on one parcel of land and consists of three beautifully appointed waterfront homes, offering over 7,000 square feet of living space. Each home expresses its own individual character, evident with spacious living rooms, gracious dining rooms, full-service kitchens, and nine plentiful bedrooms and baths. There's an incredible under-roof outdoor kitchen and sitting area. All the homes are tropical yet elegant and are richly enhanced by the ambiance of this little historic village on the Gulf of Mexico. The Birds of Paradise Boutique Resort is literally the most stunning and unique rental property on the west coast of Florida. Come a little bit. Get him excited. Oh boy, oh boy, Henry, we got him. Oh yeah? Nope, he just spit it out. Oh no, he didn't. Oh, yes he did. <laughs> Better not, I ate it off the hook already. There he is again, he ate it again. Mm -mm -mm. Man, oh man. Yeah. Ate it again. <laughs> Headed home. Oh, come on. We're on. Well, you keep pulling then, because you're doing a good <laughs> the job. The heck is it? Something little. Nope, there we go. Now it knows. <laughs> now it knows we're hooked up. Oh, good Lord. Pulling the boat. It's still on? Yeah, he's still on there. Come on. He just ain't as big as the other ones we were playing oh, with. Oh, just a little guy. Uh, uh, Billy, you got my no choice, huh? Come on! I was doing all the work. <laughs> Look at how soaked I am oh, right now. Here he is. Woo! Okay. He ain't that little. 
Oh, Team oh, that little baby. Yeah. Woo. Look at that. No match for us, my man. <laughs> Unreal, you man. You thought you could fool Big Hank and Little Billy. Yeah. Let's see if I can get the hook out of this guy. Wow, modeling on that one. Yeah, he's pretty. Yeah. I'm glad we didn't tie into a 600 pounder, in a, in a sense. He's so close. Uh oh, he's gone. He's gone. See you later. There he goes. Think his back hurts as bad as mine does right now? I don't know. And yours? So nice to have young guys around, isn't it? <laughs> Just love it. Coming up, crab quiche on the grill. This segment of Fishing the Flats is brought to you in part by Baker Hookout Tools. Goliath grouper are one of the toughest fighting fish that swim. Their massive body weight, size, and broad tail can drive the rod to the deck time and time again. Sometimes it even takes two anglers in the battle. Being prepared is always good because you never know how big Mr. Big will be. AFTCO makes great back support, harness, and rod belts for this type of hardcore fishing. But even then it's tough, as some of these fish may be over 500 pounds. One option to secure a guaranteed catch is the use of the anchor rope at the end of your wire trace and hook. No stretch, no line break, and you'll win the battle in a tug of war. I thought we'd try it again. I don't know why. I think it was Billy's idea. <laughs> Can't call hey, listen, it. we got one bonita left. You want to try it? I'm gonna... Might as well. I mean, there's some freakishly big ones here, so. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. There he is, right there. Oh, yep. He sure is, Henry. Okay. Oh boy. This is a good one. Oh, dropped it. No, he's still there. He's okay. still there. Just let him have a little bit of slack when he wants to go. This is the way to do it. Forget that rod stuff. You got stuff. my gloves, you cheat. <laughs> Forget that rod stuff. What do we got? We know what we got. <laughs> come on, come on. Get that wire up. Come oh, on, yeah. big boy. Come oh. on, big boy. Oh. He ain't as fat as the other one was. Yeah. He must have just showed up. Oh, oh, Henry, you left me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There she goes. Uh, it's a beautiful one. They're getting bigger. They're getting bigger. Get out of here. See ya. Crown Verity presents this week's Black River Surf and Turf Recipe on the Grill. All right, Steve, today's Surf and Turf surprise is what? Alaskan king crab and bacon quiche. Hey, quiche, nice. Pie on the barbecue. What are you going to do, Henry? Uh, if you've got a pan there, yep, yep. Um, we're so, going to put some heat underneath it and we'll uh, get the butter going. Okay. We'll saute the veg here and the onions. All right. And mushrooms, of course. Nice. Very good. And a little bit of orange pepper. Yep. As soon as you start barbecuing outside, you get these flavors. Not only that, but the, just the yeah, smell that smells so good. So we're gonna let that go for a couple of minutes. It's probably gonna take about five minutes to. Yep. To, uh, just close it down a bit. Okay, let me check. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's finished. Okay, Henry, I'm gonna get you to whip up these eggs, and then we'll uh, fold in some mixtures to make the quiche. We're going Alaskan king crab. We've got about three quarters of a cup here. <laughs> and we're going to add a little bit of uh, evaporated milk in there. And we'll throw that veg in. Okay. Hear that? Right, you'll have to scoop it in. Oh, yeah. Smell that. Yep. There we go. Is it hot? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, cast iron cooks it really nice. It holds the heat. Holds the heat. Yep. We'll add in the uh, the king crab. Yep, perfect. Cheese. All right, look at that. Fold nice. all that in. That's a Gruyere. Look at that. Nice. And we're gonna just pour this in here slowly, so here, we don't pull over the side. Beauty. That looks really good. 
So we'll sprinkle some bacon across the top. Just like that. Perfect quiche. And we have our Black River kebabs. We're actually gonna cook this first, and yep. then that's only gonna take a couple of minutes with the uh, Black River kebabs. I yep. love them. And we'll just throw a pepper on the top here, like this. Beauty. Stick this in, indirect. All right. 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. And then we'll put the kebabs on and brush them with a the balsamic. Nice. All right. All right, let's check this old Steve, man. So we'll throw the kebabs on, Henry. Let's, All right. Let's set that over here. Let it cool for a second. Here's the kebabs. All right, perfect. Do your little foil trick. Nice <laughs> yeah. and hot. It's all oiled up. And we'll brush it with a little bit of balsamic. Adds a nice okay. uh, dimension to it. Here, the sizzle on that. Yep. Balsamic, right, we'll brush that on. That's only gonna take a couple of minutes. Yep. And uh, I'll start to cut the pie. Perfect. Let those go and I'll start moving them around. I'll put the pie on, Henry. Oh, look at that. That is a piece of pie. Nice. I'll put these right here like this. Black River kebabs and the quiche, boy, perfect. There, there you have you go. it. Alaskan king crab and bacon quiche and a couple of um, Black River steak kebabs. Belize, what a great country. I tell you what, Turnoff Island Resort, a great place to stay, and I tell you, the fishing is totally awesome. But you want big fish? There's nothing like Florida. I tell you what, there's a lot of them here. Hopefully you enjoyed the show. I'm Henry Waschuk. Hey, we'll see you next time on another great episode of Fish in the Flats. Don't miss next week's exciting show as we feature the high-flying sailfish from Guatemala. And then we head to the Florida Keys for some barracuda action in the sport fishing capital of the world, Isla Morata. Closed captioning has been provided to you by The Fin Shop. One-stop shopping for all your fishing needs. Fishing the Flats with host Henry Waschuk and Billy Clyde was brought to you in part by Andros Boatworks, Live Target, Mudhole, and O'Hero. Look at the size of this thing.